Hi guys, okay, this is uh, question three for HL, eight for SL. Now this is a nice, um, it's a nice question, nice as in well-designed, kind of typical uh, sequences and series question where they combine an arithmetic sequence and a geometric sequence. So Charlie and Daniela each began a fitness program. On day one, they both ran 500 meters. On each subsequent day, Charlie ran 100 meters more than the previous day whereas Daniela increased her distance by 2% uh, of the distance she ran the, the previous day. So let's just, let's break it up into the two different people first. Um, okay, we have Charlie. Charlie. Now, Charlie is, it's nice to think about this yourselves guys which is it an arithmetic or a geometric sequence well Charlie's is an arithmetic an arithmetic sequence because he's increasing it by 100 each day so Charlie's u of n is u1 well u1 plus m minus 1 d and his u1 is 500 because he ran 500 the first day his n is well his n is just his n and his d is a hundred because that's the that's the difference it's just he's adding a hundred each day so that's charlie's u of n daniela's daniela's is a geometric sequence and her u of n is u one or to the n minus one her u of 1 is also 500. Her or, which is her common ratio, her common ratio is, because it's 2%, so it's this times 1.02. So just be careful. She's increasing it by 2%, so you got to multiply by 1.02. And this is to the power of n minus 1. So uh, ai, a part i, is equal to, well, it's going to be just this. It's going to be u of 20. So u of 20 is equal to, and I'd literally put in 500 plus 20 minus 1 is 19. 19 times 100, guys, I can do this in my head. I was going to take out my calculator. I don't even need it. So it's 1900 plus 500, which is 2400. Easy. Uh, Daniela's u of 20. So this is a i i. Her u of twenty is five hundred times one point oh two to the power twenty minus one, which is nineteen. This yes, I absolutely definitely want my calculator for it's five hundred times one point oh two to the power of no to the power of. 19, which is 728.406, 728.406. Now I'm actually looking at that and thinking, hmm, that seems uh, like she's, ru she's running a lot less than him, but maybe, and this is coming to the next question, on day N of the fitness program, Daniela runs more than Charlie for the first time. So she's she starts running a lot less. Well, they, well, sorry, they both start with 500, but she's increasing hers very, very slowly. Whereas he, he's increasing his like very quickly. He's adding on 100 each time, um, which seems like a lot. Yeah, so it does kind of make sense that he'd be so, he, he'd be a lot more after this much time, but it's, and it's a bit like the power of compound interest. She is going to suddenly run more than him. So how are we going to do it? Well, we basically need to find out when. When will this? When will this function equal this function? So actually, let me do it down here, guys, just so I have enough space to write this equation. So what? What for? What n will? 500 plus n minus 1 times 100, 
when will this equal this? 500 times 1.02 to the n minus 1. So when will this equal this? Now, a nice way to do this, guys, I think, is to actually graph them both. So you can actually get a good image of what's happening. So this guy is 500 plus, remember to use x, x minus 1 times 100. That is his um, that is his graph. Now it, it doesn't look it doesn't look like anything because remember he's starting at 500. So when n is 1, he, he's going to actually be at 500. So let me just change the zoom a bit here. I'll try the f zoom fit. Okay, yeah, that looks better. Um, okay. Now, um, I'm going to draw her graph. So her graph is going to be 500 times 1.02 to the power of, sorry, it's x minus 1, which is this. Okay, now you'll see she's so hang on that can't be perfectly right um okay yeah sorry so they yeah they do actually yeah because it's sorry it's at one at day one they're the same so one is the first day and they're both at 500 yeah sorry that doesn't make sense so it says on day n of the fitness program daniela runs more than Charlie for the first time. So on the first day, they're the same. But what's actually happening, if I zoom out here, watch this menu, zoom out. If I zoom out, we'll see her, look, this is her training suddenly starts to get really, really, really rapid. And that's what I'm talking about, compound interest. So th right there, that's when they run the exact same. So it'll be the next N, which is the first day where she runs a bit more. Okay, let me find that point. Menu, analyze graph, intersection, this and this, right? So it's 184.22 and, and it's the X, it's the X coordinate I'm concerned with because that's the day. So N is equal to 184.22. So N equals 184.22. Two. But what's it says on day n, there is no day 184.22. So what's the first n where she runs more than him? Well, it's going to be the next day. So therefore, therefore n equals 185. Okay, nice question, as I said, guys. Uh, nice kind of real life example. Mixes the geometric sequences and the arithmetic sequences and you need to have a good um, good hold of your calculator make sure you know what you're doing trying the graphs and everything you could have solved this question with uh, with n solve if you want but just be careful because they would give you one one solution would have been one that would be the first solution so you got to make sure you you find the solution that's later on okay um I'll see you for the next question.